Wow. Capricorn, you are in a really exceptional spot this week. Exceptional because there's a lot of there's a lot of deception, there's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of kind of bullshit, uh, real um, mysticism and illusion in the air. It's going to be really easy to get one over on somebody this week. But you're in a really good position to not see that bullshit, to be able to see right in through it. We're going to go over the cards. There's a lot that's come out. We're going to dig into it. We'll, there's a lot that's already out in the past, a huge pile. We'll go over the current situation and then we'll cast into the future and predict where this energy is going to end up. And remember, there's always an extended reading for those of you who want to dig deeper and get more details. That link is always below and I hope you guys will join me. I have a lot of announcements too, so wait for them. Um, and of course, the astrology I'm going to go over throughout the entire reading, okay? Remember guys, if you really, really like this video, to show that love and let's get into it. Um, the astrology, <laughs> you sit in a really firm, familiar spot. Um, midway through this week, however, there is a square between not only Saturn and the North Node, Saturn is of course your ruling dignitary, but Saturn, Venus, and Mercury. And Venus and Mercury together is just almost like it's so glamorous, it's so amazing, it's so convincing, it can get anything it wants. And I gotta tell you, a lot of people are gonna really take the bait you are not going to be one of them because Saturn is forming a square to this energy and it's not that you don't you're going to shoot down everybody but it means that your standards stay really fucking high it means that you ain't buying no bullshit okay Mr. Charmer ha ha okay uh, I see you all right now the wonderful thing about this week is that that quality control is really going to help you and everybody around you. Because if you follow your Capricorn friends, cross watchers, you will actually be able to get to the people that are the real fucking quality. And that's ultimately what this week is about. Getting to the real quality, getting to the people who aren't just blowing smoke up your ass, but once the smoke clears, yeah, it's there. They're still there. What they promised is still there. You know, like they, they actually provide. They actually put out. They actually come through, right? And that's what this week is really about. Those high standards and separating the posers and the pretenders and the fucking magicians from the inventors, the creators and the fucking geniuses. So it's like whoever is blowing smoke in mirrors like that, you're going to be able to skim right through them. You want to know why? A, because of these squares to that very, I don't, it's not intentionally deceptive, guys. The square between Mercury and Venus is just so beautiful that people, it easily lets people settle for just how amazing it is and how good it makes them feel. And they don't dig deep enough to think, oh, but is this really quality? Now, sextile to Pluto says that it is infused with quality, that there is an authenticity to what is being presented and that Saturnian energy is going to challenge it, which it should. Most of the things this week are going to live up to that beautiful challenge. The way I, th I see it though, because of the astrology between Saturn and Mars in retrograde is, that's really doing a review of how things have been done. So be very conscious right now of how you are going to be very conscious of how things have been done. Like those, those fake promises or those promises that just, that, oh, it looks so good, but nothing's really ever come of it. You're doing a real review of people's real actions. And everything that is quality is, for you guys is going to be based on what have they really done? As far as how they behaved in the past, what have they shown me up until this point? Because it doesn't really matter. And this could be a person, it could be an opportunity, it could be a career situation. Please apply all the energy that I describe in these readings to what resonates for you. It's your reading. I am describing the energy in the air. Leave the comments below. You tell me 
where it's impacting you and how this is playing out in your life. I'm just describing the aspects, the transits, and the energy to you right now. We're going to get in the cards and we'll get into more details. But that is why it's like you are the, you are the inspector. You are the quality inspector. And what I love about this is it's even about you. You know, being checked over, being challenged, being challenged is like, have what you promised. Has it stood up? You know, has it been as good as you said? Have you been authentic? Anybody who has not been authentic, it's going to be so obvious, especially around Sunday because of Pluto um, opposite the moon. Then it really comes out and it becomes very obvious who has been intentionally manipulative and who has been intentionally blowing smoke up your ass. And the, that's, that's why that transit is happening, to expose the deceptions, to expose the illusions. Not everybody is malicious when they deceive us, right? They just like, they're hoping for the best. They want the best. You want to sell yourself, but do you have anything to back it up? You know, and it's like, do you really deserve what you want? This is that week. This is that week. And because of Saturn's positioning for you guys, I feel like you're more on like, I'll be the judge of that kind of place, right? Kind of position in these situations. And that really helps. That really helps you be able to cut through the shit real quickly. And you'll want to. Hold on. Let's get into the current situation. Watch your words. Don't jump to conclusions and listen very carefully. Listen for the people who, oh, they're just copying somebody else. I've heard that shit before. They're just, they're just fucking saying what they heard on Joe Rogan. They're just fucking saying what they heard on Dr. Phil. They're just saying this. They're not, do they really understand what they're talking about? This is the big old red flag this week for you, for you guys to be very aware of. Listen for the people who are just copying what somebody else was saying, right? You'll be able to pick it out right away. Oh, the parrots. You know, the, the people who are big talk, but they don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. They're just repeating what somebody else said. There is always enough. There's a lot of bullshit floating around, number one. But number two, this is Piscean energy. There's a lot of, let me say this. It does imply that there's a lot of good intentions. There's a lot of emotions. But it may feel like somebody's just going through the motions because they're hiding their emotions. They're, they're holding on to it. There's a lot of emotions here. This is Piscean energy. There, this, is, this is creative energy. It's caring energy. But it's also psychic energy. And psychic means that you'll be able to tell. You'll just, you'll just know. Like there's enough strength here. And if you have a Piscean in your life, Capricorn, listen to them because they will be able to easily point out what doesn't feel right, what doesn't sound right. You know, the like trust your instincts this week is what I'm saying, or trust people that you trust's instincts because there's a sense of maybe what they've overpromised. Or it could be if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, like hearing them just repeat what you say and all of a sudden it becomes obvious Okay, so, but what's your truth? That's when you get to turn around and look at somebody and say, well, what's, what's your truth? What do you really feel? What do you really believe? Right? Or are you just kind of like, you know, giving me the word job because you know that's what I want to hear. We have co-create with spirit, which means it's a very magical time, and it is. There's a lot of, a lot of magic in the air. Um, this is something coming up out of the dark, something coming up, almost maybe feeling like it came out of the blue. Um, but in some way it'll feel familiar to you and it'll make sense to you. What is it? We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Be at home, be in a comfort place, or it could have something to do with something hitting close to home, a family situation, something finally comes out something maybe that somebody has been repressing they just they you know it's like they're going through the motions they've been repressing it it finally comes out 
um, embrace the in-between. It'll kind of knock you on your ass a little bit. It'll surprise you, but it's also a sense of this is, it's saying this is a transitional period for somebody. Hold on, this is bugging me. <laughs> um, we gotta get into the past. Let me show you, let me show you the cards. You see this? Can you freaking believe that? Like, this is the present situation. It's something that's been building. <laughs> This is Pisces, holds on to the past a lot. It's sort of the record of our emotions. This tells me that a lot of shit is finally gonna change because something finally comes out. What is that something? Let's, let's get into that. <laughs> like, I, this, is, this is almost too many cards for this reading, trust. So something that changed almost immediately, you kind of went with the flow, um, the Sagittarius energy, reclaim your power. Maybe you changed directions so that you wouldn't have to settle or you changed directions really quickly in order to get back your sense of power or control over a situation when you thought you had it. And then we have, um, watch and wait this is an energy of somebody who was this is piscean energy very pensive like wanted to wait maybe wanted to wait for you to choose your direction or understand which direction you wanted to go in or uh, i don't know it's like they it's like somebody was waiting to respond somebody was waiting to decide what they were going to do for what you decided you were going to do type of thing um okay there's too much hold on we gotta get the order of this <sighs> come on guys claim your independence so it's almost like you don't want somebody like being that parrot right there this was a situation of feeling like i just want i just want don't want to be needed so much i don't want somebody sitting there waiting and hanging on my every fucking word I want to be able to know that I can be myself and feel strong inside myself. And so I decided to do something different in order to feel myself again, in order to feel that power. And maybe you, somebody was sitting there just like, I don't know, watching you be fearless and bold. So you did take action on something. Maybe you took a chance um, to transform, a decision to transform and to change yourself and allow yourself to grow, certainly. Maybe this card is just implying that you've been waiting for this opportunity for a while, so when it came, you took it. Trust the great mystery, you dove right in. You dove head first. Remember, right now I'm describing the situation that is now being revealed, okay? Surrender now, somebody just gave in. Somebody just like went head first into a situation. What, moth to a flame, they couldn't resist themselves. Why, because it was something that you had waited for for so long and you'd wanted so long, you just jumped in. Give with gratitude and grace. When you first started, you just were full in. You gave all of yourself. You were like little Mr. or Mrs. Philanthropist. You just were like the perfect guest. Uh, here, I'll do everything. I'll do it all. Think on your feet. This is foxy. This implies that you weren't necessarily being completely sincere when you decided I'll do it all. Or when they decided to do it all, they were just trying to go with the flow and be in the moment. And it was not going to last long. It was not going to be able to last long. This mentality of, okay, I'll just, I'll just do it all. I'll just take care of it because you really wanted to impress somebody or they really wanted to impress you. But fox implies it was not going to last long. They were just caught up in the moment. And then we have now is a lucky time. So a lot of stuff grew from this. There was a lot of abundance that came from this. Very, very, um, just good stuff came out of it. Be peace. So this has to do with a lot of happiness um, that came out of it. And also being able to um, just make peace with somebody. Um, yeah. And this is just good stuff happening, really, a, really like, like light coming into your life. And this and that are true. So somebody was extremely malleable. This feels like kind of like the honeymoon period of either a new relationship or a new job where you just go and you put your whole self in and, and wow, this is, this is awesome energy. And I'm just going to jump right into this because I've waited for it. And I've wanted it for so long. And now somebody is just going along with you know, rolling with the punches. Somebody's just going along with whatever's been telling. Like, and it's been building and it finally comes out. It's hitting you close to home and you got to decide what to do about it. 
I really like this energy. So this is what's happening this week. The reason why I like the energy for this week, why is this out of like alignment? I'm sorry guys, I feel like, I just feel like I'm like not centered. I apologize. Uh, hey, while I pause, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, please. And then uh, ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Um, something's in limbo right now. You know what to do with the situation. So what do they do with the situation? Let's get into it. Let's dig in. What is Capricorn supposed to do with the situation? Seven of Swords. I think somebody's been sneaking things out. Sneaking things. Deciding to do something deceptive or underhanded or not tell something. Like It's like almost like somebody's current solution to a problem is that they've been doing something behind your back. It doesn't have to be cheating or anything like that. But there is something that's been happening behind your back. There is. It's something that's been happening behind your back. Or it's almost like love sneaking up on you. Because in some ways there was a sense of, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Hold on. Judgment is here, which means you actually getting a second chance after I think you were caught with your hand in the cookie jar or somebody was, and page of cups is here, like, like, a sense of I love you let's let's talk about this what's going on or there's a sense of something sneaking around with with a new offer of love to somebody that's it's sneaking around it's sneaking around it's almost like somebody made a judgment to start something that they really wanted behind somebody else's back now this doesn't have to be malicious in nature and that you're trying to backstab somebody but it felt like at some point you couldn't you felt like if you decided to tell somebody that you wanted to take your energy and do something else with it, that this whole situation that you'd built would collapse. So it's almost like you having to face yourself and say, what can I really be capable of and what, I, what am I not? And I can't keep giving everything to this situation, kind of acknowledging and admitting that this was deception. You know, it was, it was the honeymoon phase and, and now it's like shit just got real. Shit just got real. And it's not like they don't still care or you don't still care. That's not what the cards are saying. It's just saying all of a sudden it comes out that somebody's been sne sneaking something behind your back because they care about it, but they didn't feel like they didn't feel like they could openly say it. I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's them, but they didn't feel like they could openly say it. It's like it's like something you don't feel like you can openly say. Like, I want to go back to work right or oh god I'm so sorry um yeah like I want to go back to work or um this is what I really care about this is what I really like and I've gotten away from it for too long and I really want to get back into it it's it's more like that you know have you ever seen that movie my best friend's wedding it's the Cameron Diaz character that I would be talking about. You know, she kind of presented herself to Michael D D Dermot Mulroney's character. Like, oh, I'm just this perfect person. And I'm just going to go along because I'm so in love with you. I'm just going to go along with everything you say. And I'm going to promise you. And I'm, she was going to drop out of school for him. She was going to travel with him. It was going to be all about him. All, and who wouldn't want to marry a woman like this? First of all, she's Cameron fucking Diaz. She's gorgeous. <laughs> you know, and second of all, she's sitting there like, oh, yeah, I'll just completely put my life aside. And then would be all about you. And it was the interference of the Julia Roberts character that pointed out, that's just not the way to start off a fucking relationship. What about your life? What about your goals? And you're not going to be happy completely being somebody that you aren't really because you just are, were so scared that if you didn't completely become what they wanted, then you wouldn't actually be able to hold on to the opportunity. What am I describing for you? Tell me in the comments below, is it your relationship? Is it your job? Is it both? It's one or the other. Because there's a sense of a feeling of just kind of almost low self-esteem or low worth. You waited for it for so long. It was too good to be true. You jumped at it. But you didn't realize that you'd already earned it. You already deserved it. You didn't have to be anything more than you. 
right? But you did. You went gung-ho and you set this level, the standards way fucking high, but they were standards that you could not sustain because in order to sustain them, you would have to be about that situation or that person for the rest of your life. And you never really wanted to be. You wanted to be able to be you in that situation, but you kind of sold it as take all of me for this situation. And now what's happening is shit starting to come out. You know, your, your real self is here and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, but it has to emerge. And that means that there is a, a change that has to happen where you realize, you know, I, I have maybe been unintentionally deceptive in order to, because I, I felt like I had to be in, in order, in, intentionally deceptive re, with regards to what I've promised you. And then we're going to have a real conversation. Like this is, this is like the real world, you know, shit, shit just got real. <laughs> it's when people stop being nice, right? That's kind of what's happening. I'll show you the card. It's when people stop being nice and start getting real. And that's what it is. And it doesn't necessarily mean this is bad. <laughs> In fact, it's very good because it's liberating you from the energy of Okay, so this might be in the future, this is underlying energy, a sense of maybe this situation was never meant to be, uh, right? Especially if to sneak around and work behind somebody's back. This is a situation of this really wasn't meant to be. No matter how much you work at it, there is, this is, this is future energy. For me, this is almost like next life energy, but it's underlying energy trying to teach you how to recognize and realize what you commit yourself to and what you don't commit yourself to. That is definitely the lesson the universe wants you to learn. What else has come out in just, yeah, this is, this is in reverse. This is, this is wonky. This was not balanced. This was 150,000% the universe knowing that you were not going with what the universe was saying that you found a way to be powerful enough to tip the scales and get what you want, but it wasn't what you really wanted. I got to tell you this wheel of fortune here. And that's why I love this energy because karmically, this is when you really have a choice. You have a choice on how am I going to move forward based on what I really see now? What do I really want? Do I really want to do this? And you get to decide. Now, Ace of Pentacles is here. I would say about next year, it's coming out in the future where there's a lot of money coming to you. A lot of abundance. Oh, and look at this. This is, a, oh, are you getting married? This is a decision of some sort, making a decision, saying it out loud, deciding to love. So, especially when it comes to relationships, yeah, you're not, you're not giving this up. <laughs> no, no, but I got to tell you, you're going to eventually see this is a situation that you'll always have to put extra work into because you're forcing something that actually wasn't meant to be. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of worldly abundance, but I don't think that you're going to ever really feel the same amount of love that you for it that you initially hoped to feel let's dig deeper we got to get into the nitty gritty um the link is below to the extended uh i'll attach it to the comment section below as well what i wanted to tell you was please be on the lookout in the community tab for a poll that i am putting together uh, to celebrate you and our accomplishments on Born Without Boundaries to Row, I am going to have my first live meet and greet in Austin, Texas, USA in March of 2023. There will be two different ways to participate. One, live and in person, if you can make it. Um, and two, virtual on a live stream. So you could be anywhere around the world and just join in. It will be a three hour experience that will include a beautiful sound bath to realign and harmonize our, our bodies, our souls and our minds and our hearts to cleanse it out. We'll do a little bit of meditation and then we'll actually get into our meet and greet conversation, be able to actually look each other in the eye. We'll share some great food. We'll share some great drinks and we'll just enjoy each other's company for about three hours. So 
I don't know the prices yet, but I just want to see in terms of the volume, what I can expect, uh, who would be interested in actually showing up physically and how many people do they think you think would actually join a, a virtual experience. And I, once again, I know this is a general poll. I don't know what the prices will be yet. I've just started this. I just want to get a, 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 a sort of a be in the ballpark sort of just get an estimate of who would be interested in what. So watch out, look out for that poll in the community section so that you can take it and participate. And for right now, thank you so much for your patience, Capricorn. I will see you guys in the extended reading down below so we can see how this plays out in your relationships, your career, your money, and your sex life.